this because I was, I was just reading some evidence that people who watch horror movies more often have been more resilient through the pandemic. Uh, they've been less mm-hmm. depressed and less anxious. They've been happier. They've had more meaning and purpose. And you know, maybe, maybe they were more resilient to begin with. <laughs> like, okay, I can handle a horror film. Um, but I, I actually think that there's a little bit of, of emotion regulation practice that comes with, with watching, you know, whether it's A Quiet Place or Texas Chainsaw. Um, you know, getting to, to feel the fear in a low stakes situation where you know there's not a real threat and getting to practice managing it over time, maybe that helps you sit with the fear, right? And then reframe it and say, I'm going to learn how to deal with it in these less threatening situations. And now I have a little bit more confidence that I can handle it in, in the higher stakes situations. And in some ways, that's been your job, right? You've, you've, you've engaged with fear in, in really dangerous situations. Um, but you've also probably dealt with some some less terrifying ver- versions of it, like um, you know I'm, 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 I have to get on camera again, right? And I'm worried that this conversation is not going to go perfectly. And I wonder if those moments, those those moments of rehearsal, practice. Um, I guess they become practice for the real thing. What do you make of that? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think that's true. I mean, I, it's interesting. Horror movies. I uh, my ex Benjamin, uh, who's raising my son with me. Uh, he loves horror movies. He's obsessed with them. He's making a list already that one day he hopes he can watch with, with our son. I do not like horror movies because I sort of feel like life is scary enough and I encounter fearful things enough in my work uh, and, and have throughout the last 30 years of my job or 25 years that I don't need to add extra you know, fear or drama uh, in my extracurricular time. But I find, I do think forcing myself for a long time. I do think there's something about exposing exposure to something to kind of show that you can, I mean, you never know how you're going to respond to it in a fearful, in a situation, in a really dangerous situation until you're in it. And the way you think you may respond may completely be not the case of how you respond. And if you can continue to work in something that is fearful, I have found that to be, uh, that I find that to be a real strength. I, I think that that's such a key distinction because what, what so many people, when they do, when they feel fear, what, what so many people do is they, they basically go into fight or flight mode. And for a lot of us, the easy response is to just avoid it. Uh, but if you're constantly avoiding fear, you never really know what it feels like. You don't understand the grip that it, it takes on you, and you don't develop strategies for, for managing it more effectively. And so this, this idea of saying, okay, wait a minute, um, what am I feeling right now? Okay, I'm, I'm afraid. Why am I afraid? What can I do about it? Uh, makes it just a little bit easier to, to activate some of your higher level processing uh, as opposed to letting fear control you.